The haphazard security surrounding Britain's spying network continues to make the front pages. For more on that story, here's Paul Garner with his report. British military intelligence services were today reeling from the latest laptop blunder, which has proved them about as capable of keeping secrets on a computer as Glamnon's Gary Glitter. Last week, MI5 admitted that a computer had been snatched from an agent at a London tube station. And today, MI6 revealed that one of its spies had managed to lose his laptop whilst out drinking in a tapas bar. Police believe the MI6 agent may have been the victim of a classic honey trap sting when they discovered he'd not been drinking alone. Today, they issued a photo fit of a stunning Russian-speaking man-eater they believe he spent the evening with. <laughs> With suspicion centred on the Russians, it is feared the thefts are part of a tit-for-tat espionage campaign sparked off by Tony Blair's recent trip to Moscow. <laughs> In light of these high-profile security breaches, the real-life Q has been busy designing high-tech hardware to deter anyone from stealing MI6 laptops. <laughs> Q has also revealed plans for a new wraparound body brace, which ensures that an agent and his laptop can never be separated. <laughs> With modern British spies travelling on the tube and getting off their tits in tapas bars, the image of secret agents as suave James Bond types has been shattered. This has forced makers of the classic Bond movies to change the titles of some of their films. Octopussy becomes Octapas Bari. You Only Live Twice becomes You Only Lose a Laptop Twice. And The Spy Who Loved Me is retitled The Spy Who Was Fucking Shit at His Job. In light of these embarrassing revelations, Bond film producers have had to hurriedly recast their next movie, replacing Pierce Brosnan with a more realistic secret agent. This is Paul Garner, The 11 O'Clock Show, in central London.